Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy land, seal and never me fall. Oh my soul, I worship His holy land. High up in the mountains of Fort Jacques, overlooking Port-au-Prince, Haiti, there are orphans receiving exceptional care, hope, and the kind of love that every child deserves. Though many of these children were once malnourished and abandoned, one revolutionary ministry is going to great lengths to provide all they can for these beautiful treasures, God's Littlest Angels Baby Ministry. In a country that is largely known for its poverty and corruption, God's Littlest Angels is changing the image of Haiti, one child at a time. There are an estimated 400,000 orphans in Haiti. 78% of the population lives on less than $2 per day. Yet God is stirring up a movement and bringing change to this misunderstood nation through its people and those who have been called to serve there. God's Littlest Angels was founded by John and Dixie Bickle on Christmas Day, 1994, when Angel Noel, a one pound, 15 ounce baby, was born at the local mission hospital in Fairmouth. She was given very little chance for survival. With the parents' permission, Dixie took the baby home. John designed a homemade incubator out of a cardboard box and heating pad. With IV supplies inaccessible, Dixie kept the baby alive by feeding her with an eyedropper every two hours. Within four days, she was drinking from a doll bottle. Little Angel Noel was reunited with her parents four months later. God continued to send babies in need of advanced medical care. In November 1995, John and Dixie followed God's call to leave the mission they were working with, and God's Littlest Angels, or GLA, was born. That's how the whole orphanage started and we never hesitated one second over taking in children and helping them because we knew what the alternative was and the alternative for a lot of these children was death and and that was not an acceptable alternative to us what started out as a child survival center soon became a fully functioning nursery and an orphanage that facilitated adoptions for children of all ages. The orphanage now consists of a state-of-the-art intensive care unit with the capability to provide oxygen, intravenous fluids, and monitoring support for critically ill infants. Local doctors and health clinics often refer babies to GLA who are in need of nutritional and medical support. For premature babies, we can do CPAP, we can do caffeine, we can help them with their breathing. They're, we're really well equipped for premature babies and the nursing care there is wonderful. One out of every five children die before they turn the age of five. Out of that statistic, 60% of them are in their first year of life. Mainly, the, the things that kill the kids here are fevers, diarrhea, vomiting, dehydration, malnutrition, things that you can correct if there's health care available. So many people can't afford, even if there's a clinic somewhere, they can't afford the $2 they need to go there to, for help. We also have a program where mothers that do come in with their premature baby, they learn how to take care of those babies because they don't know. They don't know for a premature baby who's already, their resistance is low, 
if they get diarrhea, you can't wait three days to see if it'll get better. You need to go to the doctor now, or you need to return here to us so we can check them out, give you medicine, or maybe start an IV on them if they're dehydrated. Besides the medical care, their, their support for the families, the assistance for the kids, you know, it's, it's priceless. The mission of GLA is to care for premature, malnourished, and abandoned children. A sponsorship program is helping children in the community receive an education who otherwise could not afford to go to school. GLA also assists in placing abandoned children with loving families through adoption. While the children are waiting to be matched with forever families, they are given the highest possible care and attention, thanks to a wonderful Haitian and foreign staff, as well as humble volunteers and generous supporters. They know they're loved, they know they're cared for, they know they're safe, and I mean, that's, that's what we're doing here. That's what we want to be able to provide for them. Here I am the educational director, and so um, I basically run the four different schools that go on here. We've got four certified Haitian teachers that come in and teach every day with our kids, as well as Dave who runs our computer program, and I do the English program here. So all of our kids that are here are in school from anywhere between six and a half and seven and a half hour school days. So they're getting full school days and they're being taught um, in English, French, and Creole. Not everybody in Haiti gets to go to school. It's, it's a privilege and they know that. And so they take their schoolwork very seriously, you know, and they don't get up in the morning and gripe about having to go to school. They want to go to school. Here I don't have to carry water to wash and they got us food. We drink water whenever we want. And here they take good care of us. Obviously a huge thing for me is um, them growing up and just making a decision to walk with Christ. I mean, that's to me the biggest thing that, that if they can have a, a, a clear understanding of who he is in their lives, then our job is, it has been done. The years of sacrifice have led GLA to this pivotal moment in its story. Five pristine acres of land have been purchased and the new home of GLA is being built. This area up here is going to be our new guest house. It will house uh, our volunteers, our, uh, our visiting families will stay there and have a quiet place away from all the rest of the kids to get to know their, their adoptive child. Now down here in this area is where we're building the, uh, the house for the toddler compound directors. Uh, it'll be a two-story house, uh, three bedrooms, a uh, sitting area on both floors up and down, and it'll have a, a front porch out here on the front and a balcony on the front of the second story. As we head down here, this uh, gives a pretty good view of the way the land is. When you're building on a mountain, you have to get kind of creative. The main orphanage will sit across the top of the uh, big hole you see there. That will be the water holding cistern for the main building. We hope to, if it comes out right, we're going to have close to 180,000 gallons of water in there to, uh, you know, service everything down here. With the older children now moved to the permanent site, we look forward to the completion of this project by building a main baby house and guest house for adoptive families and volunteers. It, it benefit us all if everybody was in one location be, just for management of everything. Also just making sure that the kids are taken care of, that they have what they need. If we had it all in one place, it would be so much easier to manage. So we need to finish building. So we can have all of our volunteers here, we can have all the babies here, we can have the NICU here, we can have the older children here, and we can have all of the managers here. So that we can take care of the children the best we can. The journey is just beginning. The needs are great. 
With your help, countless more children will be impacted through the ministry of GLA. We invite you to partner with us and bring hope to the beautiful children of Haiti.